I'll start this series on logic by talking about, well, well, first off, what is logic? Uh, most people will think reasoning, um, and that's, that's an okay way to think about it, but it's more about reasoning uh, in a correct way. Um, the question then becomes, well, what is it to reason in a correct way? And again, there are many ways to define this, but uh, a lot of people will say the art of reasoning, the science of reasoning. Um, so what is it to be correct to get a system like this? Um, you need it to be a system. You need it to be a structure. It's that pattern that's going to apply in every situation. It's uh, supporting your methodology behind your reasoning. So that's what you can think of logic as being. What types of logic do we have? Well, there's typically induction and deduction. And you've probably seen this before in an English class. If they do a logical fallacies uh, packet or something like that, you've, you've probably heard about abduction as well, which is just kind of like guessing. But the way induction and deduction are described using English or using a language are uh, they, they just tend to be really wordy and um, they'll say things like, you know, from, from premises to a conclusion is induction. And while that can be true in a sense, um, deduction also tends to fit that uh, because deduction goes from premise to conclusion. It's just that deduction is usually a singular premise to conclusion. So what is our difference Induction uses probabilities. You have might, uh, could, usually, sometimes, um, preferably. There's just a measure of uncertainty here. Saying things like most likely will be an uncertainty that occurs. And that's induction. Anytime you hear a sentence that has those words in it, that's using inductive reasoning. All right, so that's the gist of induction, but what about deduction? Deduction is where you're dealing with absolutes. It is certainty, whereas induction was uncertainty, deduction is certainty. It's these absolute statements of if A, then B. There's no probability. There's nothing involved with uncertainty. It's if A certainly happens, then B certainly happens. So for example, if A is Anne goes swimming and B is Bob goes swimming, then if A, if she, if Anne goes swimming absolutely, then Bob goes swimming absolutely. That's a deductive statement. There's no uncertainty. There's never a case where Anne goes swimming, but then Bob doesn't. That's not even possible because of this A, B certainty, if, then. I'll end this video by listing a few subjects that tend to be inductive versus that which is deductive. So inductive subjects are going to be things like probability and statistics, pretty much any science class, anything that's science-based or observation-based, that's all induction. Um, anything that is uh, English or language based as well is going to be inductive because you kind of have to be a little bit forgiving there. Whereas when you think of deduction, you can just think of, you know, your, your math classes, algebra in particular. Um, some math classes like statistics and probability are not deductive, but most of them are because you're dealing with absolutes. You're dealing with ones and zeros. So I'll just uh, wrap that up there and leave that as that's, that's our induction versus deduction difference.